work on stage and screen has spanned 50 years, and she's still going strong. Now she stars in the new Netflix comedy series, Grace and Frankie. Please welcome back to the show, Jane Fonda. <laughs> the last time you were here because yeah, I, I do we were on the floor we yes. were on the floor we I did yoga together falls. yeah I, yes. I remember that there we, are. there we are it means so much to me that you have said that my workout tape really helped you changed my yeah. life strong it meant a whole lot to me changed my life he, he said yeah. that in his hall of fame induction yeah. yeah, I know, yeah. I know, it meant a lot. And I've re-released my, my early tapes on really? DVD. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So many people were saying my VCR, you know, was broken and I can't find right, it right. and so on. Right. So I released them all, um, for most popular five on DVD. Well, you know, tell I'm you what, glad you did. If you want buns like these, yeah. you better go right. get that DVD. <laughs> You know, I take exercise class every day, and I feel that every class that I take, you're, you're the foundation, your exercise uh, DVDs and, and, and tapes were the foundation behind all of it, behind everything. It. Yeah. yeah. You sure did. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, you should Thank be. You. And, you're, and you're very open about your age. You're 77, which I right. find to be Don't unbelievable. Do you, do you think that exercise is the key to, you know, aging gracefully and... Well, you know, I, I wrote a book a few years ago called Prime Time yeah, about successful that. aging and I did about three years of research and the thing that kept coming up is the most important thing is to stay active. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't... A lot of people, because they can't do what they used to do when they were younger, just say, well, then I'll just stop. Mm -hmm. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I can't run anymore. I can't lift the same weights that I used to, but so I walk. Right. So I lift lighter weights, so I do Pilates instead of, you know, you just adjust. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as you know very well, there's certain things that, that are, you know, like instead of worrying about having really strong quads, it's the gluteus, gluteus mm -hmm. medius. Mm -hmm. It's the small muscles, you know, those, and the core muscles. For that women are so especially, when you get older. And you have grandchildren, which I can't. I do. I've got to think that. As in, you would be the coolest grandma oh, yeah. alive. Do they know how cool you are? No. No. <laughs> they will. My daughter and her family and my grandkids are going to go down the Grand Canyon and show. So cool. Something that was on my bucket list, but I can't anymore. I'm too old. No. Come no, on. my back won't. You know, the rapids and all that kind oh, of thing. Oh, you mean they're going to go rapid? They're going to go in the boat down the Colorado River, you know, while there's still one there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, you know. yeah. You never know. You never know. Yep. And now we got to take a quick break. And um, one thing, we're going to come back. And we're going to, one thing we do know is that we are happy that you and your pal, Lily well, Tomlin, have reunited <laughs> for this show. So their new comedy, Gracie and Fra Grace and Frankie. And we're going to talk about that with Jane Fonda when we come back. So stay right there. We are back with Jane Fonda talking Grace and Frankie. Now, you and Lily Tomlin, you play, you were kind of adversarial, but now you've bonded over the fact that you were married. And your husbands have decided to tell you both they want a divorce from you so that they can marry each other. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> it's hard at any age, but when you've been right. married 40 years and uh -huh. you're in your 70s and this happens, it's like the rug is pulled out from under you. And the question is, now what? Right. <laughs> Who are we and what happens from here? It's funny and it's poignant. It's such a complicated role, but it really is. I mean, it's... It's one of those things that you don't think about. You think 40 years of marriage, you got it all. You got it all figured out. It's right. all worked out. Right. And then to start over, yeah. and maybe to start over and create a new friendship, lean on each other, and a new life. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a very hopeful series yeah. because it you know it happens to a, all too many women at a certain age, and you think my life is over. But what the series shows and what is actually true is it's never too late to start over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think you're broken, but you're actually broken open to become someone that you were always meant to be. Oh my God, oh my you God. have to write another book because you just, you just said the title okay. out loud. Yes. That was really great. 
Actually, my friend wrote it already. Oh. <laughs> broken open. Was broken a oh, broken open, yeah. Broken open. Wow, yeah. And, and how is it after 35 years ago, you and Lily were in um, 9, nine to, five. to 5 together. Yeah. And how is it to be reunited with her? There's the kimono uh, that changed my life. Lily Tomlin would put on that kimono and go to work. And every day backstage, I put on a kimono because that affected, it affected really? me. It really did. Oh, it affected me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wear a kimono every day backstage. It makes me think that I'm a professional. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> It was great. It's uh -huh. just great to work with Lily again. You know, we I produced 9 to 5, and we became friends. Uh, it took me a year to convince her to do it, and Dolly, too. And then we've stayed friends subsequently. You know, we see each other often, and we're both activists, and we kind of come out for each other's causes when we ask each other. So to be working with her is a pleasure. It's very hard to do episodic television. Yeah. So it means a lot to be working with someone that you trust. I know yeah. she's not going to try to steal the scenes, right. and, uh, which she could do very easily. Right. And, um, you know, she'll tell me when I'm off base and vice versa, and it's just really nice. But so are the guys, Martin Sheen and Sam Waterston. Yeah, they're great actors as well. And I, when I think of you two, and, and I often think of Dolly Parton, you're like my favorite three-way couple. You're my favorite throuple. You really are. <laughs> Do you think Dolly will be on the show? You'll see, we love Dolly so much. Yeah. She is so terrific. But... Grace and Frankie is, is a very different kind of film, yeah, sure. you know, a series that's a different kind of style and we have to create our own independent identities mm -hmm. before yeah. Dolly comes in and, you know, she kind of like takes up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she takes over. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, you know, we're going to take a look at a clip. I love now, your laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Now, in, in this scene, your character, you're surprised by a package that just arrived for your, for your soon-to-be ex-husband played by Martin Sheen. Yeah. So here is Jane Fonda in Grace and Frankie. Your chair arrived. Oh, my God. They said it was going to take six weeks. It took two days. When does that happen? It's a joke uh, between me and Saul, a private joke. Now you get a sense of humor. Everybody who shows Grace and Frank is now available on Netflix. Please go out and check it out. One and only James Bond, everybody. work on stage and screen has spanned 50 years and she's still going strong. Now she stars in the new Netflix comedy series Grace and Frankie. Please welcome back to the show Jane Fonda. <laughs> the last time you were here because yeah, I, I do we were on the floor we yes. were on the floor we I did yoga together falls. yeah I yes i remember that there we, are. there we are it means so much to me that you have said that my workout tape really helped you changed my yeah. life. Been strong it meant a whole lot to me changed he, my life he said yeah. that in his hall of fame induction yeah. yeah, I know, yeah. I know. It meant a lot. And I've re-released my, my early tapes on really? DVD. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So many people were saying my VCR, you know, it's broken and I can't find right, it right. and so on. So I released them all, um, for most popular five on DVD. Well, you know, tell I'm you what, glad you did. If you want buns like these, yeah. you better go right. get that DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so, you know, I take exercise class every day, and I feel that every class that I take, you're, you're the foundation, your exercise mm -hmm. uh, DVDs and, and, and tapes were the foundation behind all of it, behind Started everything. It. Yeah. yeah. You sure did. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, you should Thank be. You. And, you're, and you're very open about your age. You're 77, which I right. find to be Don't unbelievable. Do you, do you think that exercise is the key to, you know, aging gracefully and... Well, you know, I, I wrote a book a few years ago called Prime Time yeah, about successful aging, and I did about three years of research, and the thing that kept coming up is the most important thing is to stay active. 
you know you can't a lot of people because they can't do what they used to do when they were younger just say well then I'll just stop wrong 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 I can't run anymore I can't lift the same weights that I used to but so I walk right so I lift lighter weights so I do Pilates instead of you know you just adjust yeah and uh, you know as you know very well there's certain things that that are you know like instead of worrying about having really strong quads it's the gluteus gluteus mm -hmm. medius mm -hmm. it's the small muscles you know those and the core muscles for women so especially when the you core. get older and you have grandchildren which i i, I do i've got to think that as a, you would be the coolest grandma oh, yeah. alive do they know how cool